Welcome to this short video demonstrating how to use Keysight's Command Expert inside of Keysight vPro. So the instrument we're going to use today is one of our TrueVolt digital multimeters, the model 34461A. And I'm going to use a Command Expert sequence to optimize this meter to make DC voltage measurements as fast as possible, which this meter has a capability uh, at max speed to make about 1,000 readings per second for DC voltage. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have connectivity. So in the IO library suite from Keysight, there is a tool called Connection Expert. And we want to bring up Connection Expert here to show you that this instrument has already been identified. I have it connected to the computer via the USB port. Here's the unique USB uh, Visa address string. Um, the next thing I want to do is bring up Command Expert. Now this is the sequence that I've already created ahead of time. This basically starts the meter from a known state and then configures and optimizes it to be able to make uh, readings as fast as possible. One of the tools that you have inside of Command Expert is the ability to define parameters which are helpful to use as variables inside of your V program. So I have a couple of input parameters here, sample count, trigger delay. I also have a couple of output parameters, the instrument identification string, as well as the actual readings that we're going to capture from the meter. Okay, I verified that this command sequence already works. So now we're ready to go into V. The very first thing you want to do in V is, and by the way, I already have some objects on the screen here to kind of save some time. You want to go in underneath Instrument Manager and make sure you've identified the instrument, which I've already done that as well. Okay, you can get to that also from up here and just select Instrument Manager and basically press the Find button here if you need to find your instruments. It should locate them using uh, the configuration in Keysight's Connection Expert. And basically, once you've found them, we need to get the Visa address string. So you can get this from here, underneath Instrument Properties. And I'm going to copy this and paste it into my V program into this text uh, constant variable here to feed into the Command Expert object so that it knows which instrument that it needs to communicate with. Okay, again, you can get this tool or this Visa address string here as well from Connection Expert or from the Instrument Manager under Instrument Properties. Now we're ready to actually go in and bring in the sequence. This is a V extensible object. It's underneath the I.O. menu and it's simply called Command Expert Sequence. So we select that, we drop that object into our workspace, and now we double click it. And once we double click it, it brings up Command Expert so that we can go in underneath the file and load this save sequence, which is right here. It brings it in, and then all we have to do is simply click this button called Export to Add-on at the bottom of the screen. And this brings in the sequence. It's in here, as well as the input parameters and the output parameter is now shown as data terminals on the input side and the output side of the object in V. Now we just need to simply wire this up. And we're ready to go and make measurements. Now, for a test signal, I have a 1 hertz uh, triangle waveform uh, as an input from my waveform generator to the meter. It's uh, 10 volt peak to peak. We'll go ahead and run this. It'll take about five seconds. That's what I put in for the default timeout value. And you can see that it brings in the waveform right here. And it's about one cycle long, uh, which it's a little running slightly faster than 1,000 readings per second. We can also put in a trigger delay. This is a delay that can happen before the first measurement and in between measurements. So I'll put in a one millisecond trigger delay and rerun this, and you should see it uh, slow down and maybe capture about two cycles of the waveform or a little more, and it does. Um, you can also change the sample count here to the uh, sequence and get 2,000 samples. Okay, and this takes about five seconds again to run, and you can see we have 2,000 samples here. Okay. 
So that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.